everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Thriller Thursday. So for today's Thriller Thursday, I'm going to be talking about the case of the Grime Sisters. Before I start, I'd just like to say that I'm in no offence by making these videos. They're just for educational and awareness purposes. So on the 28th of December, 1956, Barbara Grimes, who was 15, and Patricia Grimes, who was 13, went to see the Love Me Tender movie by Elvis for the 15th time because they were obsessed with Elvis. They left home at 7.30pm to go and watch this movie and left with no more than $2.50 in their pockets. They were meant to return home by 11.45pm if they didn't stay for the second screening of the film. Their mum Loretta and her friend Dorothy actually watched the first screening of the movie too and they said they saw the girls at the concession and they seemed really happy and also sat behind them during the film. The two of them didn't stay for the second screening though but weren't sure if the others did either because they didn't return home at 11.45pm. Loretta started getting worried when they didn't come home so she sent her older two children down to the bus stop near where they lived to wait for them because they would have got the bus home. So the two older children went down to the bus stop and waited for them to come home. But they waited three buses and also until 2am but there was no sign of them. When they went home they told their mum Loretta that the girls didn't come. After Loretta found out that her children didn't return home she contacted the police. And within the days following, this turned into one of the widest city searches in Chicago's history. Evering neighbouring cities and counties to Chicago helped with the search. They provided resources and people to help with the search, but they didn't find the girls. During the searches, there were so many reported sightings of the girls within Chicago and within different cities all over America. This led to the theory that the girls may have actually ran away to go and meet Elvis and this theory actually blew up and Elvis himself heard about this, went on the radio and pleaded for the girls to go home. Obviously I'd usually talk about theories at the end but this theory was actually disproven and wasn't true. Their mum Loretta didn't believe for a second that her daughters would have run away as they didn't take anything with them, they had no clothes, no money, nothing. And they also wouldn't have left behind their Christmas present. So for Christmas, the girls actually got a AM radio. And they loved this, they listened to it all the time. And Loretta thought that they definitely wouldn't have left this behind. Unfortunately, on the 22nd of January 1957, the bodies of the two girls were found in Willow Springs. A man named Leonard Prescott was driving along German Church Road when he saw what believed to be two bodies. So these were on the side of the road and first of all he thought that these were mannequins. So he headed home, got his wife and then they both went to look further together. And this is when they discovered that it was actually two bodies and these were the bodies of Patricia and Barbara Grimes and the two bodies were also naked. When these bodies were found, they were in really weird, awkward positions. So Barbara was face down naked, and Patricia was led on top of her, face up naked. And on top of this, both of their faces were quite damaged, as animals had ravished at them. So at 1.30pm, Leonard and his wife both called the police and reported these bodies. The police actually determined that these bodies had been there for around two weeks since either the 9th or the 10th of January and they thought that the only reason that they hadn't been found previously was because they actually had quite heavy snow and the bodies would have been covered by this. So from the autopsy they could actually see that the girls were killed within four hours of them going missing. So the same night as they watched the film and they only knew this because they still had the last meal that they had that night in their stomach. And this just proves that the theory of them running away wasn't true, as if they did, surely they would have tried to find something else to eat. 
and wouldn't have necessarily died within four hours of being missing. So there was no obvious cause of death, it was ruled out as a murder and it was just put down to exposure and shock of exposure to the elements. The coroner, Walter McCarran, who carried out the autopsy and determined the cause of death, was actually criticised for this as people believe that he messed the autopsy up and more and more people started believing that this was a murder. So after these bodies were found, there was quite a few suspects as to who may have murdered these girls. And the most famous one was a man named Edward Lee Bedwell, who actually admitted to committing these murders, but there wasn't enough evidence to actually convict him. He then ended up recounting his confession and said he actually had nothing to do with it, and the county sheriff's department actually coerced him into confessing. And after this, he was cleared of having any involvement within the case. So the case actually ended up going cold after this until 2012, when Ray Johnson, who was an author and a former criminal investigator, came up with a new lead. When Ray was looking into this case, he discovered that another girl, Bonnie Lee Scott, was a very similar case to the Grimes sisters. Bonnie was 15 at the time of her murder and was also found naked. There was also marks found on her body that were very similar to the marks found on the sister's body. And the man responsible for Bonnie's murder was a man named Charles Leroy Malkist. And apparently he actually rang Loretta, the Grimes sister's mum, bragging about how he murdered her daughters. Originally, when he made this call, it was anonymous, but later on, during interviews, when Loretta heard Charles's voice, she instantly recognised it and said it wasn't a voice that she could have forgotten. So apparently there was also a third girl who was abducted along with the Grimes sisters, who was 14 at the time of her abduction, but didn't come forward as she was nervous, she was only 14, she didn't really know what to do, but eventually she did talk to authorities about this, but they didn't really find any more evidence and she did want to keep her identity a secret. But one thing this girl did say is that the man who abducted her did have a unforgettable voice. Apparently it was very distinctive and this is exactly what Loretta said as well. Charles was then convicted of Bonnie's murder and got 99 years in prison but only served 11 of these and then when he got out he got married and had two kids of his own which I don't think's right because how can you kill someone else's child then have children of your own? It doesn't really make sense. Charles ended up passing away in 2010 so couldn't be questioned on the Grime sister's death. And then on top of this, Loretta died at the age of 83. So, unfortunately, we'll never actually find out what happened to her daughters. And that is everything for this case. So, it's pretty much unsolved. Um, police had a rough idea of who did it, but it was never confirmed. Let me know down below if you have any other theories of what may have happened. And any other cases that you may like me to cover. So if you did enjoy, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one.